Hello everyone and this is Code Havox. So in this video I'm going to be covering about a tool today which is called Phonesploit Pro. Now this um, tool you can actually find, it's an open source um, tool that you can find in GitHub. And um, what it does is that you can um, actually pen test Android devices if they're port which is the ADB um, ADB uh, USB debugging when you enable it you have the ADB access so through the ADB access what you can do okay so let's say you are um, forwarded the um, ADB on your phone with the uh, TCP IP commands from the ADB shell and then once you're done with that you can actually gain access into the phone wirelessly even when it's not connected uh, through the um, USB wire okay so once you have the access from the um, ADB, what you can do, you can do a lot of stuff with the help of Phones, Phonesploit Pro, okay? So, that is what I'm going to be covering today. So, let's begin. Before we dive in, I want to make it clear that the content in this video is intended for educational purposes only. We will be discussing tools and techniques and ethical hacking specifically for understanding and improving security remember always have permission before testing any systems and never use this te techniques okay so for unauthorized activities so let's get started all right so here we're going to be um looking for a tool so you also have other similar tools out there on github Apart from just Phonesploit Pro, you can try out Ghost Framework, which I am about to search over here on the um, browser. So, yeah, one of them being the uh, Ghost Framework is also useful when it comes to accessing the ADB, okay? So, inside the uh, Android device wirelessly, okay? So, once the uh, port uh, f uh, 555 is um, actually um, opened up, so you can see. You can see a lot of um, instructions and the uh, tools apart from Phonesploit Pro, but um, I think Phonesploit Pro is actually um, easier to use. Okay, so that's what I'm going to try out now. So, GitHub, and then I'm going to search. So over here, as you can see, the first result. This is the one, and I'm going to open it up in a new tab. Now, obviously, I'm trying it out in Windows. So when I scroll down. Um, as you can see on um, the requirements all right so make sure you complete all the requirements so okay for the windows this is the one we have the instructions and how we can run it and also for Linux basically you can try it out in Cal Linux you know you also got Mac OS as the option as well so all right uh, I have already downloaded it, but if you want, you can download it as a zip. So, when you get inside this folder, which I've already excluded, okay, so on the NT, uh, the Windows Defender. So, yeah, when I open up the CMD inside that folder, now as you, when you scroll down, you have the instructions on what to do, all right? So, all right, first we're gonna um, install the requirements, okay? with the help of pip which is for python 3 okay so all right we get there and paste it and before it let's uh, put python python 3 i don't know if this might be a mistake with the uh, command but let's give it a try and see if it works as you can see python does not actually i'm get recognized on Windows but when it's hot PY it actually works okay so this is how it works in Windows make sure you have Python 3.10 alright uh, this is the best version that you can try out for for the phone exploit pro so when I hit enter correctly now that I have everything uh, working so it's installing the requirements alright so that is done we're just going to clear the screen and when I list out the directory, as you can see, now we're going to run the uh, phone exploit pro with the help of Python. As you can see, now we have the, um, we're into the phone exploit pro. So 
As you can see when I type number one, I can connect to the device with the help of its um, IP. So I'm just going to forward my um, ADB port, okay? So for me, I'm doing it through the help of Termux, but you don't have to do that on real Android device. You can actually um, forward your ADB with the help of TCP IP, but first you're going to have to enable the USB debugging inside your real Android device, okay? So, yep, you can, help, you can do that with the help of the developer options. Now that I have forwarded uh, the TCP IP, uh, which is the port um, in the um, 5555, so I'm just going to um, double click on SC or CBY and see if it works. Okay, something went wrong. So, all right. So when I I'm um, let's just I'm um, okay. So CD. Okay, it's your CPU folder, and inside here, I'm going to type ADB devices. I already have it, which is the BlueStacks emulator. Uh, with it, which is running on EDB, so so I forwarded it. Okay, so I forwarded the port so that it works wirelessly within the um, local network. All right, so okay, let's give it a try again with the SCRCPY. Now you can see that I have the display of the same em emulator which is the um, BlueStacks alright so over here on phone exploit I'm just gonna um, put its IP okay of the uh, emulator for your mobile device it's going to be different than the one I'm trying right now so please make sure you check that in your um, status which is found in the about section mostly on Samsung um, devices so yeah now that I'm connected with the help of IP which I actually had forwarded with the TCP IP command and the next thing we're going to do would be on um, yep, as you can see you can do a lot of stuff as well okay so when I um okay you got a lot of options you can okay when I type N for the next page you can send SMS you can do things like copying WhatsApp's data all right lots of things which can be used in a negative way as well if you if the if a bad threat actor gains access into your mobile device so just for security awareness and you can also dump all sms that is inside the uh, android device okay so literal sms okay so you can also record mic audio and lots of other stuff so i'm here back on with my um, bluestacks emulator so over here I'm just gonna, um, for example, um, go for the dump all SMS, which is on number 33. So I'm just gonna put 33, and then it, it does it. And I'm just gonna hit enter for the default location to be saved. So it has extracted all the SMSs. All right. You can also do the same for contacts. And later on, I'm also gonna show you where all of this is stored. Okay. So 35 for call logs. Same thing, it worked. Now I'm doing just doing all of this just for the example, all right, to show you the possibilities that you can do from ADB on um, ADB access. But yeah, obviously, this is just for the educational purposes. And so, in the previous page, okay, I'm back here, and um, you also got other options. So. Feel free to try out, try them out on your own device. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with option 15, which is I'm um, delivering the payload of Metasploit into the Android device with the help of this tool. Okay, so you can see all the um, you can read all the instructions. So you can press Enter to continue. Okay, so I've continued. And over here, let's um, paste the port. IP config, and then the um, IP of my um, local machine. So.
So I'm just going to paste it. Okay, when I hit enter. Okay, so it says invalid selection. So, um, yeah, okay. So what you're actually going to need to do is uh, type M and then manually put your um, local host, which is of this machine, the virtual machine. And port, I'm just going to set it to default, which is 4444. So, it's creating the payload and it is about to deliver on your BlueStack emulator but I don't think it will be successful because you cannot actually on um, since the BlueStack is already connected with my host machine when it comes to the ADB I may have a problem in delivering the payload but it should not be your case when you're trying it out on your real Android device alright so I'm just doing it just to show you as an example everything might not go as planned because Obviously, BlueStacks, I don't think it has any sort of option to give access to VMware, okay, to VMware with the ADB, okay, so, yeah, I'm just showing to you on how you can do it on your real Android device, just for pen testing, alright, just to make sure, so, okay, and then automatically, once the payload is delivered into the emulator, what the, uh, one exploit pro does is that it does everything in automation so it's already started to listen on the uh, ports 4444 so I should have actually received okay it I should actually be seeing the sending stage and receiving the connection but like I said and you know, the same issue that's the on uh, blue doesn't uh, seem to actually give access with the ADB to the on um, the virtual machine okay so so just to show you, I'm just going to um, pause the video and show you what it looks like on your Andro real Android device, okay? So, okay, as you can see over here, I've actually gained access, okay? This this will be your case. This will be your case, okay, when you try it with the real Android device on its ADB. So, I'm just going to um, type help, and these are the list of instruct. I mean, sorry, the commands that you can um, use, okay, against the uh, Android device. Once you begin next, you want to type this info. You can see Android 9. And here you can see I've delivered the uh, payload. So I'm just going to quit. And I'm. So I. That was pretty much it for this tool. So, um, so obviously, I'm um, as you can see when it comes to the call logs and SMS stored, it's inside this directory, which is inside downloaded files of the phone exploit pros main directory. So, so when I run the phone exploit pro with the Python again, so as you can see, basically, okay, all the things I've covered, that's it. Thanks for watching till the end. And if you found this, I uh, found the methods we discussed today helpful. I invite you to take your skills to the next level at my website, which is codehavoxcourses.com. Codehavoxcourses.com, and over here you will find advanced courses spe specifically designed for ethical hacking on Android and mobile devices. So this course is going to keep getting updates. All right, so just so that it fit, fits in with the um, security advancements, okay? So, whether you're a beginner or looking to sharpen your expertise, there's something for everyone. Check it out and start your journey today. So, feel free to check out my website, goethavoxcourses.com. So, that's pretty much it. And um, finally, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more cybersecurity content, like this from ethical hacking tutorials to advanced techniques do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification stay sharp stay ethical and i'll see you 
in the next one.